Walnuts. Walnuts have been eaten for thousands of years and were so prized by the Romans they called them Jupiter's acorns. Their brain-like shape inspired the medieval belief that walnuts could cure head ailments. English walnuts are the most common type, while black walnuts are stronger, more bitter, and extremely hard to crack. Evidence shows humans were eating walnuts over 8,000 years ago in Persia, modern-day Iran. Almonds Almonds aren't actually true nuts. They're the seeds of a fruit closely related to peaches and plums. Originally from the Middle East, almonds spread along the Silk Road and eventually became California's top agricultural export. The word almond comes from the Greek amygdalae, which is also the root of amygdala, the almond-shaped part of your brain. There are two types, sweet almonds, which we eat, and bitter almonds, which contain cyanide compounds and are toxic unless processed. Spanish missionaries brought almonds to California in the 1700s, and now the state produces about 80% of the world's supply. Peanuts Peanuts aren't nuts at all. They're legumes, like beans and lentils, and they grow underground instead of on trees. Native to South America, peanuts were cultivated by ancient peoples in Peru and Brazil over 7,000 years ago. Portuguese traders brought them to Africa, and enslaved Africans later brought them to North America. George Washington Carver famously developed over 300 uses for peanuts in the early 1900s, helping southern farmers diversify beyond cotton. The flowers of peanut plants do something weird. After pollination, the flower stalk bends down and pushes the developing pods into the soil to mature underground. Cashews Cashews grow in one of the strangest ways possible. They dangle from the bottom of a cashew apple, a fleshy fruit that's popular in Brazil but rarely exported because it spoils quickly. The shell surrounding the cashew contains urushiol, the same toxic oil found in poison ivy, which is why you never see cashews sold in their shells. Workers must carefully roast and remove the shells, often suffering burns in the process. Cashews are native to northeastern Brazil, and often Portuguese colonizers spread them to India and Africa in the 16th century. Today, Vietnam and India are the top producers. Cashews are not technically true nuts. Hazelnuts, also called filberts, Hazelnuts have been eaten since prehistoric times, with evidence of mass consumption by Mesolithic people in Scotland. The name Filbert supposedly comes from St. Filbert, a French abbot whose feast day falls during the harvest season. Turkey produces about 70% of the world's hazelnuts, and the climate along the Black Sea coast is perfect for growing them. Hazelnuts are one of the key ingredients in Nutella, which was invented during World War II, when an Italian pastry maker mixed hazelnuts into chocolate to stretch limited cocoa supplies. A single hazelnut tree can live and produce nuts for over 100 years. Pecans Pecans are one of the few nuts native to North America. Indigenous peoples relied on them heavily, and the name comes from an Algonquin word meaning nut requiring a stone to crack. Early European settlers adopted pecans from Native Americans, and Thomas Jefferson had pecan trees planted at Monticello. The commercial pecan industry began in the 1880s, when a Louisiana enslaved gardener named Antoine successfully grafted a superior pecan variety though he received little recognition during his lifetime. Today, the U.S., particularly Georgia and Texas, dominates world production. Pecan trees live for 300 years and can grow over 100 feet tall. Pistachios Pistachios have been cultivated in the Middle East for at least 9,000 years and are one of the only nuts mentioned in the Bible. Legends say the Queen of Sheba hoarded the entire regional supply for herself and her court. The nuts naturally split open as they ripen, which the ancient Persians considered a symbol of good fortune. You could hear them crack at night in the groves. In the 1930s, a Syrian immigrant named Zaloum planted the first commercial pistachio orchids in California, but it nearly took 50 years for the trees to produce significant harvests. Iran and the United States now compete as the world's top producers. Like cashews, pistachios aren't true nuts botanically, they're droops. Macadamia nuts Native to Australia, macadamias are named after John McAdam, a Scottish-Australian scientist even though indigenous Australians had been eating them for thousands of years before European arrival. They have the hardest shell of any nut, requiring over 300 pounds of pressure per square inch to crack. Hawaiian macadamia nuts became famous after an Australian businessman planted the first commercial orchids there in the 1880s. The trees can take 7 to 10 years to produce their first harvest, and the nuts are notoriously difficult to process, which is why they're one of the most expensive nuts in the world. Only two of the nine macadamia species produce edible nuts. Brazil Nuts these massive nuts come almost entirely from wild trees in the Amazon rainforest. The trees can live for over 500 years and grow up to 160 feet tall. What makes Brazil nuts nearly impossible to farm is their incredibly specific pollination requirements. Only a single species of a large-bodied bee can pollinate the flowers, and that bee depends on a particular orchid that grows in an undistributed rainforest. The nuts grow in hard coconut-like pods that contain 12 to 24 individual nuts, arranged like orange segments. These pods can weigh up to 5 pounds and are so heavy they can kill someone if they fall from the tree. 
Brazil nuts are naturally radioactive due to their high radium content, though the levels are too low to be harmful. Pine nuts Pine nuts are edible seeds from certain pine trees that have been eaten since ancient times. Indigenous peoples in the American Southwest relied on them as a staple, while Mediterranean cuisines used them in cooking as far back as ancient Rome. Harvesting is incredibly labor-intensive. Workers must collect pine cones, often by climbing tall trees, then extract the tiny seeds from inside, which is why they're so expensive. In tradition Italian pesto, pine nuts are essential, though many modern cooks use cheaper alternatives. Some people experience pine mouth, a harmless but annoying metallic taste that can last for days after eating certain pine nut varieties. Chestnuts Unlike most nuts, chestnuts are low in fat and high in carbohydrates, making them more like a grain than a typical nut. They were a dietary staple across Europe and Asia for centuries, often ground into flour. The American chestnut was once one of the most important trees in eastern forests, making up a quarter of all hardwood trees, until a fungal blight accidentally introduced from Asia wiped out nearly all of them in the early 1900s. Roasted chestnuts sold by street vendors were common in cities like New York and London. If you don't cut the shell before roasting, they can explode from steam pressure. Coconuts Technically a droop, coconuts are the largest seeds in the plant kingdom. They can float in ocean waters for months and still germinate when they wash ashore which is how coconut palms spread across tropical islands. The name comes from Spanish and Portuguese explorers who thought the three dark spots on the shell looked like a face. Coco, meaning grinning face or grimace. Every part of the coconut palm is useful. The water, meat, oil, husk fiber for rope, leaves for roofing, and wood for building. Some Pacific island cultures were so dependent on coconuts that they had over 100 different words to describe the various stages of coconut growth and ripeness. Hickory Nuts Hickory nuts were a crucial food source for indigenous peoples in North America. They were often crushed into a rich paste called pakorakora, which is where the word hickory comes from. The nuts are encased in a thick husk that splits into four sections when ripe. While pecans are actually a type of hickory, most other hickory nuts are smaller and harder to extract. Early American settlers used hickory wood for tool handles, wagon wheels, and smoking meat, giving us hickory-smoked flavor. The nuts are extremely high in fat, and even more than pecans, which made them valuable for storing energy through winter. Acorns Acorns are the nuts of oak trees, and for thousands of years they were a dietary staple for many cultures worldwide. Native American tribes developed sophisticated processes to leach out the bitter tannins, soaking and rinsing the ground acorns repeatedly until they were sweet enough to eat or bake into bread. In Korea, acorn starch is used to make a jelly-like food called a turimuk. During times of famine in Europe, people turned to acorn flour as a survival food. Different oak species produce acorns with very different bitterness levels. White oak acorns are relatively mild, while red oak acorns require heavy processing. Acorns are one of the few foods that are botanically classified as true nuts. Beech nuts Beech nuts are small, triangular nuts hidden inside spiky husks. They were once widely eaten in Europe and North America, and are extremely rich in oil. They're encased in a spiky husk that splits open in autumn, in parts of Europe, they were pressed for cooking oil or roasted as a coffee substitute during shortages. The trees only produce large crops every few years in a phenomenon called masting, which scientists believe evolved to overwhelm seed predators like squirrels and birds. Indigenous peoples in North America ate beech nuts raw or roasted, and early settlers fattened pigs on them. The nuts are small and tedious to gather and shell, which is why they're rarely sold commercially, but they have a delicate, sweet flavor.